Hey everybody, welcome to episode 142 of the Ask Dapp Show, where I answer your Volkswagen and Audi questions. On this episode, we're answering a lot of questions from our Quattro video. Okay, so today, a little bit of a different backdrop. Uh, we are out in a warehouse in uh, the packing area. I've been back here some this week because we have some people on vacation helping out uh, with packages. So we decided we would answer some questions back here uh, instead of up front like we normally do. Let's get into our questions. Dennis via YouTube asks, so with the first gen Audi TT fraud wheel drive, is there a way to mechanically turn on all wheel drive full time? Something like welding diff? Okay, so for anybody who's not familiar with what he's referring to, older vehicles and then off-road stuff, uh, four wheel drive like off-road vehicles, instead of putting a limited slip or something like that, which is very expensive in a vehicle, people will take a diff and they would weld together some of the components inside the differential to basically lock the two wheels together. Um, this is generally a terrible idea. Uh, the biggest reason why is because when you weld the diff together to make sure the left and right wheel drive together, part of what happens with differentials is when, when you turn a vehicle, the inside and outside wheel are moving at different speeds because you have to cover a different amount of ground. So if you imagine if you were to draw two circles, let's say you're going to make a, a complete circle with your car. If you draw two circles, the, one of the inside wheel, one of the outside wheel, they're going to be much different sizes. The inside wheel is going to be very small. The outside wheel is going to be very big. So the amount of distance covered by the outside wheel is a lot more than the inside wheel. So when you weld it together, they can no longer travel at different speeds, which means as you're turning, everything's going to be going, ur, 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 ur. and that's what happens when you, when you hear a car that has a welded, uh, welded diff. So, uh, no, I think it's a terrible idea. Uh, you could do something like that where you could lock them together. Uh, where you basically essentially remove the Haldex system from the vehicle, you still would have the differential from side to side. Um, but in general, I'd say that's a terrible idea. Uh, but you can do something with just either upgrade the Haldex module, or uh, I've heard of Max, one of the guys who works here, a uh, place he used to work that had a S3, an old 8L S3 race car that they just ran straight 12 volts to the Haldex pump. And it, I think it seemed to engage uh, the, the all-wheel drive system all the time. So I don't know exactly if that's the best method that I would suggest for anybody, uh, but running voltage to, to those things will likely do it. The controller is going to probably, uh, depending on the generation and how they're laid out, maybe toggle that on and off, um, even with all that being said. So I would suggest just to upgrade the Haldex module if you were looking to get more performance out of one of those systems. B3K Teapot via YouTube asked, I think some of the new Audis use crown gear center diffs. Can you guys do a video on that as well? Okay, so we aren't gonna do a video talking about crown stuff uh, in the sense that making a video talking about it specifically, it is a different version, uh, similar to Torsen, but just operates slightly differently. You are correct, a lot of the current Audi models do have crown gear, uh, including uh, my car. My, my S4 should have a crown gear. Uh, what I've seen is the RS5 was the first car to get a crown gear in 2010, I think. And I don't know if that's all models globally or, or US or whatever. I think in 2013, a lot more prevalently, cars like the S4 got the crown gear. So yes, the crown gear is something that exists in there. I didn't talk about it in that video specifically because I didn't want to get too bogged down in too, too many details. That video was already 18 minutes long, which I felt like it was really long in explaining the crown gear and how it's different than the Torsen diff. Uh, to me was going to eat up a lot of time and potentially uh, was kind of small details around that. But yeah, yeah correct. Crown gears do exist similar to Torsen, uh, but are, are better than Torsen setups. Mike G via YouTube asked, do the S3 and RS3 have Halidex then? Do they have transverse mounted engines? Um, yes, the S3 and RS3 both have uh, Haldex systems and they also do have transverse mounted engines. So the one of the benefits of Haldex is what we talked about in that video was packaging. So when you take an engine and you turn it transversely, you don't have as much requirement of size of the vehicle. So what you would have in a vehicle that has a longitudinal engine front to back would be if you mount that in a car, 
the hood is gonna have to be much longer or you're gonna have to bury the engine into the firewall of the vehicle. Either way, it's not necessarily easy to design the vehicle around. You know, you'll find cars that will have uh, an engine that's buried into the firewall where maybe you have to remove some panels or something to take the ignition coils out because there's not enough space to actually get it up and above. That's what happens when you tuck the engine too far back into it. You also have big tunnels and stuff like that inside the car uh, for the transmission and things like that. So. Uh, packaging on these cars is why they do it and they mount the vehicle, the engine transversely, allowing you to put a bigger size engine into a vehicle without having to worry about uh, the rest of the design of the vehicle suffering, which is why Haldex is a great system uh, of all-wheel drive and for that specific uh, purpose. Via email asked, I have a 2018 Golf Sport Wagon with Ford Motion. My question is what transmission, clutch, and drivetrain do I share with? The Mark 7 Golf R or the GTI? I'm curious since I don't know what clutch to look for for an upgrade. Six-speed manual upgrade parts, etc. Maintenance for the Halidex, etc. Okay, so Dallas, uh, the car you have is pretty rare. Uh, I would say that's not going to be a particularly common car, and I don't think most people are going to be faced with your same situation. Um, I don't know 100% off the top of my head, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I think is correct, and then I'm going to have Nathan, when, he, when we go back before we publish this video, thumbs up or thumbs down to say whether what I'm saying is correct or not, because I'll go back and just double check to make sure, because I need to verify a lot of things uh, before, but I suspect the clutch for GTIs and Golf R's will likely work in that one because they use basically the same drivetrain setup from those cars into other ones because they will have a six-speed manual unlike the five-speed manual that would come with the other 180s. With that said, I suspect everything's gonna be the same. I will double check a few things. Depending on your preference, I would say uh, the TTRS setup is probably gonna be your best bet unless you're looking to go with big power because you'll get your clamping force but still keep your dual mass setup without having to go to a single mass flywheel, which will get you more noise and stuff like that. So uh, if that's the case, again, I'll have Nathan give a thumbs up or thumbs down at the end of this. And good luck with modding your unique car. Now we're gonna try something new that I've always thought about doing just for fun. Uh, we're gonna do a rapid fire of me responding to random comments on videos. Uh, videos like that one tend to get a little bit insane because when videos get mainstream, they get a little crazy. So. Uh, here we go. I was getting ready to fire up my flamethrower after the first half of the video. Good thing I kept watching. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I say this. We got, we did not get nearly as much people who thought we were really talking sh Luckily, most people have a sense of humor. Most people. It's not quattro, it's quattro. Always lowercase. The actual car is the only thing that's capitalized, not the drive train. Car people should know that. Uh, <laughs> so we got so many comments on this video talking about the capitalization uh, of the title. I assume it was the title. I don't know where it was. Frankly, I don't care. Um, the, about capitalizing the letter Q in the word quattro. Uh, I thought it was hilarious. The 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 response, the number of responses we got. I now understand. They're talking about the vehicle named Quattro, which was uh, one of the early Quattro cars. So uh, yes, I understand that that one of them is a car and the other one is an all-wheel drive system. Uh, I don't think anybody's gonna confuse the two that an all-wheel drive system is actually a car or a car is an all-wheel drive system. Any chance you can make a similar video with BMW X Drive? Not a chance, no chance. TT ticks off quicker than than the spinning S4 when for the Haldex. When we did these side-by-side -side videos, the TT did take off a lot quicker than the S4 did. One, the main reason why is because the tire. So my car uh, has Michelin Pilot Super Sports on it. Um, they are horrible in the snow. Uh, two days before we shot that video, Nathan and I tried to shoot the video when it snowed here, uh, and I got stuck 60 feet from my driveway because those tires are so garbage in snow that I literally couldn't get going. So um, I had to tuck my t tail between my legs with my Quattro car uh, and get pulled back to my house by a Jeep and had to uh, hang it up for the day. So uh, I actually have an Instagram story that I did about it that was uh, you know, kind of interesting, but yeah, that was the main reason why. And the other reason why is because the S4 has a lot more power. The intention of the video 
for me was to actually spin the tires uh, to try to show the difference. That's why we did that, uh, the slow-mo 240 frames a second to show you the difference between the two, uh, which is why, so we could show the, the Haldex alteration between the front and rear wheels. Kennedy watchers aren't great for hairy arms. Sorry, but the jokes weren't funny, so I had to go. You guys enjoy it. Bye. Or not. They enjoyed it, all right? They enjoyed it. You should blink sometimes. Yeah, there were multiple shots, more than one. I blinked in between them. I don't talk for 20 minutes straight. <laughs> uh, Haldex is crap and is an absolute sacrilege to mount it on an Audi. You missed out on this one, buddy. Torsen is the only real Quattro. Thank God the Uber Quattro Haldex lie is dead. That was even worse than Haldex also introduced because of fuel consumption. I'd take higher fuel consumption any day over fake wheel drive. I mean, sacrilege sounds a little bit too emotional I don't, until it's all wheel drive. Great information, even with the derogatory description of the Haldex system. Come on, Monty. Oh my goodness, that's a, quite, a, quite a comment you left there. I, I can't read it. I don't have it. Fool, fnord, fault, fear, flaw, foul, flop, foe. I did use, I used foe. Flop, I like. Foul, eh. Flaw, I like. Fear, fault, fool, fnord. I don't even know fnord. That's way above me. I didn't even know. I. That's one of those things back in the day when you had to play word with friends and you told me to play a word and you'd be like, that's not a real word. Fnord. Thank you so much for watching episode 142 of the Ask Dap Show, where I answer your Volkswagen and Audi questions. If you have any questions or comments about the questions answered in this show, be sure to leave it in the comments below. And if you like a little bit more of the relaxed style, uh, leave us comments and some feedback there as well. If you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.